I'm going to quickly show you the Grid Inspector, which is now in Firefox Nightly and is going to ship with Firefox in the version that has Grid enabled by default. So that's Firefox 52. So if you inspect an element, and this is a grid item, you can see that it's positioned on the grid. If we go up to the wrapper, this is the element that has display grid. And you can see we've got some columns and some rows and also a grid gap. Now next to the word grid in the value, we've got this little icon. If we click that, you can see now that we have our rows and our columns highlighted and also highlighted are the grid gaps. So we can see a gap here and a gap there. Now that's quite useful because when an item spans over two cells and there's a gap, that's going to add some extra space to the item and it's handy to be able to see where that is. Now we can see our grid, we can also change the grid in DevTools. So perhaps here I'm going to say repeat five. And you can now see we've got an extra gap and we've got an extra column of cells there. And I might want to go to my box B and you can see here that it spans two. Well, we could make that span three if we wanted. And you can see now how that spans across. So that's just a little look at what's coming in DevTools in Firefox. I'm really pleased to see this and I hope we'll see lots more tools being created for working with Grid. But I think this is going to be a really great start and if you grab a copy of Firefox Nightly you can start playing with this now.